automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. Christ's sake, you don't look sick, and you sure as hell don't look dead, so why are you bothering me? I thought you had the look about you. Sure, I can help you, but it's not free. Fifty caps, take it or leave it. All right. I got some of this pre-war stuff. Should flush your system right out. All better now, you big baby. Can I get back to work now? Okay, then. Try not to get killed out there. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Technically, this means I'm supposed to report her. To tell the truth, I'm supposed to report you being here, too. But I've been getting mighty forgetful in my old age, you know? We've got more than enough trouble without me adding to it. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? 
Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I can't do that. Not officially, at least. As much as some of the rebels would like to talk with you, the overseer said you weren't welcome back. Of course, if you survived whatever's out there, none of us could stop you if you really wanted to cause problems. But I'd prefer if you don't. But out of respect to your dad, I could turn a blind eye. You could slip out and say you were never here. I won't tell a soul. It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay, follow me. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Taylor, <laughs> stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Yes, you do. I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Be more careful. <laughs> Ahmad is up there, in the clinic with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Damn, look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You got to help us. Because you're a goody two-shoes, right? You get off on helping people in trouble. Isn't that why you saved my mom? I bet she'd thank you herself, but she and I ain't exactly on speaking terms at the moment. At least, not when she's sober. But I tell you, your old man had the right idea. 
I can't stand it down here anymore. You gotta help me get out. Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who wanna join. Competition's gonna be tough. Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Nothing too bad, yet, but he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Catch you later, maybe. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! you. Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. Chaos doesn't even cover it. It's a nightmare down here. People died that night, and all because my father went crazy to keep someone from opening the vault. And worst of all, then we found out the vault had been opened before, and they'd lied about it all our lives. I heard we sent a couple of scouts outside long ago. Maybe the suit was theirs. The vault was open for a while, but for some reason they closed it off when we were babies and everyone swore to deny it had ever happened. But then Jonas died, and they're keeping us locked in here, all to protect that fantasy of remaining untainted by the outside world. It's not that simple. Just because Butch wants to leave this place behind doesn't mean the rest of us want to go away forever. It's our home, and we want to stay here. It's just that since you left, we started thinking maybe the outside wasn't something to be afraid of. But we can't even suggest going outside to communicate or trade at all. Not with the Overseer keeping us trapped down here. You need to stop him. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but... All he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs and he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold metal pincers? You don't want to. Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon the vault. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside, trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? But he's still my father. 
He may have made terrible choices that night, but he's the same person who's always looked out for us before then. Maybe he has some reason. Just please don't kill him. We've already had too many deaths. serve you, master. Ah, another patient. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate. The leg. Yeah, I am sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Ah, human problems for human half. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Here we are, nestled all safe and snug inside Vault 101. It's so cold down here. Colder still with Catherine gone. Oh, Catherine, I so wish you were here with me. How the hell am I supposed to do this by myself? Live down in this hole, take care of our child. But this is our life now, so I guess I'd better get used to it. The overseer who runs the place is an overbearing bully, but I've dealt with worse. Oh, back again! Here to watch the master work! <laughs> um, actually, uh, no. Uh, I'm afraid I've been, uh... Uh, yeah, uh, fired. I've been reassigned to cleaning detail. My first duty is, somewhat ironically, cleaning the clinic. Ah, oh, surgery was fun while it lasted. Of course, of course, don't let me keep you. It's good to see you again. You're alive! I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. Bye.
Wow, you're back. I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the Overseer, but we still love the Vault. We just want to try going outside, too. Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out. I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do to your dad, either. Yeah, see you. It's good. Hey, good to see you again. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly, but I'll be ready for it. The Overseer thinks he's in charge of us just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that. We do what we want, and we want to open the vault. Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. Yeah, see you. Hey. I never thought you'd be back. should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. know that I should be talking with you. It's just a phase they're going through. Every kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. Yes, you do. You're back again? They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. It's all kind of blurry for me, but I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. Yes, you do.
can't you just leave us alone? Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Yes, you do. Oh boy, are you in trouble? What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? Yes, you do. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad. But I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Watch yourself down here. I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, 
but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault, and so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. Spoken like someone who's never had to make difficult decisions. Like someone who's never had to lead. Jonas was leaving with your father. Their departure would lead to others leaving as well. And before you know it, half of the vault would be gone. And then our home, the last safe, pure bastion of humanity, would be reduced to a lonely handful of aging holdouts, too few to continue. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? Damn it! I told them I won't let this degenerate into violence again. The vault simply can't take the instability anymore. But maybe you're right. They simply can't stand the pressure anymore. And now the purity and perfection of my vault is crumbling all around me. And you expect me to believe that the only way to do that is to let them travel out in the wastes and mingle with those savages? I suppose it would allow them to stay alive, and we could still keep the vault as our safe haven. But it'd require a new type of leader. And I know only one person with the proper attitude to do that. I'll inform my daughter Amata that she is the new overseer, effective immediately. Go ahead and start something. I dare you. Oh, look. The bad seed is back. More kids looking to get us all killed. Now it's up to security to keep them in line. After what happened to Vicky and my boy that night, your corpse should be strung up as a warning to anyone else who thinks about heading outside. Yes, you do.
Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Leave me alone. I never thought you'd be back. Amata, everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. It's good to good see, to you, see you I, I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. There are still so many things to repair and a lot of bad feelings to mend. Some people still blame you for what happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. Good, you made it. I survived the night, but I get the feeling there's change in the air. Don't know if it's good or bad, though. Well, I guess it could be worse, but if I know Father, he's not just going to change his mind on this. Will do, Amada. You watch out for yourself, too. Will do. You, too. It's good to see you again.